No matter what our age, all of us are required to learn new skills on a regular basis. What if by understanding neuroplasticity and how our brain learns, you're able to learn things in a better, easier way? Let's say this is a neuron in your brain. Each and every neuron is connected to hundreds and hundreds of other neurons. This interconnected neural network has the potential to form innumerable various pathways. Every time our brain performs a function, the neurons fire and it goes down a cascade of pathways. When our brain again forms the same function, it goes along the same pathway. Each time the pathway is fired, it makes it easier and easier for the same pathway to be activated next time. It doesn't matter if it's learning how to walk, sing, do a computer program, or ride a bicycle. All learning is done this exact same way. When learning a complex procedure, it's okay to break it down into simpler parts, but it's very important to make sure that each of those parts is helping ingrain pathways that will help you when you put everything together. This will make a lot more sense with a good example. I like to use riding a bicycle because most of us learned how to ride a bicycle in a very inefficient way. The three main components of riding a bicycle are enjoying or being interested in it, being able to pedal, and then being able to balance. The basic skills of pedaling can be learned with a tricycle or a big wheel early on. The big challenge is teaching a child how to balance a bicycle at speed. Most of us are taught with training wheels, but training wheels don't teach you how to balance. They actually do the opposite. It's teaching the child to lean one direction or the other, which lays down the wrong neural pathways. When learning to ride a bike with training wheels, instead of laying down helpful balancing pathways, we're laying down leaning pathways, which just makes it harder to learn to balance later on. A more efficient way to teach a child to ride a bicycle is to use something called a scoot bike. A scoot bike is just like a normal bicycle. There's no training wheels, but there's also no pedals. The child simply runs along the ground and lifts up their legs whenever they feel like it. This reinforces the balancing neural pathways because the child is running as they ride is very simple and it's easy for them to build confidence. This works for riding bicycles, but it also works for other things. What about you? Are there any new skills that you're learning? How can you apply this technique to help you learn it quicker and easier? Well, I hope you learned something today. And remember, stay healthy. For those of you interested in getting a scoot bike for your child, you can buy one or you can build one. Here's what I recommend. Get a normal two-wheel kid's bicycle where they can stand up comfortably with their feet flat and their bottom right on the seat. Have your child help you. First take the training wheels off. Pull off the chain fender. Remember the left side pedals are reverse threaded so it's lefty tighty righty loosey. The crankshaft has an odd shaped ring nut that you need a specialized tool for but a screwdriver works also. Now you're ready to take off the crankshaft and you're almost there. The biggest dilemma is what to do with the chain. It forms a loop around the bar. You can either cut it and permanently lose the chain or buy a chain tool to pop the rivet out so you can reuse the chain later on. Once the chain's out, I cover up the hole with duct tape just to avoid dirt and grime getting in. Well, the bike is all set. Now your child's ready to scoot. Help your friends and family stay healthy by sharing this video. For more Dr. Doodles, go to drdoodle.com or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.